boys and girls. My name is Ravis Key. Uh, I'm going to give a quick and dirty uh, explanation for electron configuration, orbital notation, and even noble gas configuration. So we'll start off over here with electron configuration. What is it? It's basically just telling someone where these electrons are. We know in the center we have the nucleus with your protons and neutrons. So somewhere in this shape, there is an electron. Now let's talk about how we're going to explain this. Well first, the first level, the energy level, has a 1 there. So the next thing we'll talk about is the shape. The shape for a sphere we're going to let be represented by an S. So if we were doing something really, really easy, like helium, we would have it on the first level. Helium's on the first level. So we've got a 1. The shape is an S, and it can hold two electrons. Now let's talk about how I got the two. Notice it's a superscript there. One, two boxes. If you can count, you can do this. So I'm going to try a little bit harder one, and I may even have to get a new balloon now. Nitrogen. So if we were looking at nitrogen, I'm going to go back to my periodic table. So we're looking at element number seven. So we have to start off at the very top. And let me explain why real quick. If you look at this picture, you'll see that this is the periodic table upside down. You've got one S here, and then it goes to two S. Think of the rain. If it started raining here and these were buckets, it would fill the one S, then the two S, and then the two P. And it goes all the way up, three S, three P, four S, and then three D. Remember that for later. Okay, back to nitrogen. So we're looking at nitrogen. We just explained why we got to start at 1, level 1, the shape S. I forgot how many. Count 1, 2, 1, S, 2. Now, much like a typewriter, a typewriter, for those who've never seen one, it goes across, it starts at the top left, it goes, dit, 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 and at the end it goes, ding, and it starts all over on level 2. So now we're at 2S, same shape. These first two columns are S. Remember that. Count two boxes. So now we're at element BE. Are we at nitrogen? No, but how can you tell? Add. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that tells you you're not quite at nitrogen yet. But we've got a problem, boys and girls. This sphere worked out well for the first two columns but we're no longer in a sphere. We gotta get a new shape. We're gonna call this shape the P's. Later on, we'll learn PX, PY, and PZ coming out at you. So remember that for orbital in just a minute. So this P shape can hold six electrons, but for nitrogen, we only need how many? We're gonna count one, two, three. So we're gonna say two, Y, because it's still in the second level. What shape? The new P. And we count. One, two, three. Mr. Key, how do we know if we're right? Add them up. Two plus two plus three is seven. Yes, you got it. So let's try one even harder. Sodium. This is element number 11. So again, we got to start where? Typewriters always start at the top. So we're going to go at the very top. 1, S2, 2, S2. And if you're following the periodic table, you're just going 1, S2, 2, S2. <clears throat> Excuse me, 2, S2. Then we're over here. What's that again? Not the S, but the P. 2, P. How many does P hold? I forgot. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold six. Oh, we had sodium yet. When you add this up, you get 10. 10 doesn't equal 11. So what happens at the end of that row? Ding! We're back at number three. Three S. How many over for sodium? Just one. And that's the electron configuration for sodium. So our last example here for electron configuration is going to be a really hard one called titanium. Wow, 
Where would titanium be? There it is, number 22. So what happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You've gone over these columns and these columns, but we haven't told you the new shape for the middle yet, have we? So we're going to introduce that in just a second. So but let's go ahead and start where? The very top, 1S2, there's a little song you can sing. 1S2, 2S2, then comes 2P6. The electron configuration game is really slick. From alkali to halogen, unknown to noble gas. You can learn this really fast. All right, 1S2, 2S2, then comes 2P6. 3S2, where am I? 3S2, I'm still on level three. Now I'm back at the P's. 3P6, ding! 4S, 1, 2. Ooh, but now we're, we're confused. So I'm going to have to go back to my beautiful table here. Do you remember this just a minute ago? What happened after the 4S? You had to look at the 3D. Notice after the 4S was a little bit lower, and then came the 3D. I tell my students to remember this because... The first element in the 3D is SC for science fiction movies. The old science fiction movies that were black and white were in 3D. Ha! Remember that. Science fiction movies in 3D. Might help you. So here we go. We're going to go 3D. Now we got to count. One, two. Stop. How do you know you're right? When you add up all these superscripts, you should get element 22. Yeah, that was pretty easy. So again, we're going to use this information to do the next step, which is orbital notation. Wow, watch how it's so similar yet different. So we're going to start off with our same element, helium. Helium, a while ago, was 1s2. But this time, I'm going to draw a blank. Now, don't be confused. Some people draw a box here. I personally prefer blank. Same thing. You're just showing the shape of this. Remember the sphere? So we got the sphere for a blank. Now, instead of writing an exponent for two, we're going to tell you a lot more in orbital notation. We're going to tell you that one electron is going to be pointed up. Now, what does that mean? That actually stands for it's spinning to the right. So guess what half of there going down mean? Spinning to the left. Okay. So that's the orbital notation for helium. That's pretty easy. Now it's called, it's a half arrow because it's a half charge on the electron. So that's the reason they give that. Now let's try our next one. Let's go straight into nitrogen. Well, this worked pretty easy. We saw 1s up and down, 2s up and down. Uh oh. Now we've got the P. Wonder what we're going to label these three blanks. 2PX, remember that, X, 2PY, 2PZ. I can hear someone going, whoa, where did you get those shapes from? Let's review them. PX, PY, PZ coming out at you. So yes, that's exactly where those three blanks come from. Now I compare them to tents. If you go out camping, the first thing you do is set your tents up. Whether you use them or not, it may rain and you need to store your stuff there. So go ahead and set your tents up first. And now how many, hmm, how many do we need? Three from what we did earlier. So we're going to put one in the first tent. They want their own tents. One in the second tent. And then one in the third. Mr. Key, how do I know if I'm right? Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Nitrogen's element. Seven. Yay, I got it right. Notice all of these have their head going up. Normally, if you can't, you make sure that your head is uphill so you don't wake up with a bad headache from all the blood draining to your head. That's why we like to go uphill. Now, technically, in the northern hemisphere, we always should have it going up because that's a magnetic pull and spin to the right from the northern north pole. So now we're going to move on to the next one, sodium. Could you pause the video and do it on your own? I'm going to go ahead, but feel free to pause it and try it on your own. Starting again at 1S. 2s. What comes next? 2px, 2py, 2pz. 
bam, bam, bam. The Hun's rule tells us we refill after we put one in each. Just remember that when you're filling. Lastly, 3S, but how many errors do we have? Just one. If we count all these half errors, that's exactly 11. Lastly, I'm gonna start up here for titanium. Uh-oh, remember, this is the part of the Ds. So this is gonna get really big all of a sudden. So we got, again, 1S, just like we've done before, 2S, 2PX, 2PY, 2PZ. Fill them one at a time, double up. It's a good habit to start. Then go to 3S. Then what? 3PX, 3PY, 3PZ. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we're ding. Next row, 4S. But now you're in the Ds. What are you going to do for the Ds? One, two, three, four, five. There's five orbitals. Sorry, I don't have enough balloons for those. But we're going to cheat on this one a little bit. Instead of labeling them all, I'm going to let you do this. Because Ds aren't really involved in bonding a lot, so I'm not going to make you remember those. But just label 3D in the middle. And then put how many errors? Just two! Because that's all titanium gets. Hopefully that makes sense. But you have to draw these blank boxes or these blank uh, blanks to make sure that it shows the possibility of that electron being in any of these orbitals. So you're actually showing mathematical possibility by drawing those blanks. <sighs> that was the hard way. Now I'm going to show you the easy way. So earlier we looked over here and we had to draw all of these orbitals starting from the very top. What if we could use a reference point that everyone knows? The reference point we all know, let me introduce you. Noble gases, this is the kids listening on YouTube. Uh, YouTube, this is the noble gases. So now that you've been introduced, these are the noble gases. We're going to do the noble gas configuration. So to do this, you just have to tell them to go to whatever noble gas you're last passed. Now I know some people get giggle and they say, ah, oh, he said past gas. Yes, and trust me, if you go to Taco Bell, it may not be a noble gas. But beside the point, we're going to go ahead and try our three, not starting with helium because there is no noble gas for helium, same configuration, 1S2. So let's look at nitrogen. So I'm going to spin over right over here so you can keep up with me. Woo! So noble gas configuration for nitrogen. We're going to say, bam, let's go straight to helium. Now notice the brackets. The brackets mean go to helium. And then what? 2S2, 2P3. Notice I didn't start at 1. The reason was this brackets and this helium says go to helium. Lastly, let's go to our last two, sodium. Wow, that's all the way down on the third level. But this time I'm going to cheat and write, go to helium, go to neon, sorry. Go to neon, and then go ding, 3S1. Whoa, that's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. Lastly, titanium. Remember how big that was? Watch how easy this is going to be. This time you're just going to go to AR, 4S2. 3D2. That's our noble gas configuration. There's dot structure coming up later. We'll talk more about that with bonding. Have a great day.